Hey gang, welcome back to Joe Daddy's Garage. This video is part two of the headlighter install on the 68 Mustang known as Jade. If you like videos like this, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification to see more. Now in the first segment I showed how you take the bows out, how you put the bows in the headliner, uh, cutting the sheath that the headliner bows go into, and also how you find center on the headliner because that's pretty important and that's where I left off. This video I'm going to be putting in the headliner in the car with the bows stretching the material and starting the initial stretching and gluing of the front and rear of the windshield and back glass openings. It looks like I'm going to do a part three because that I've already edited most of this that you're going to see and I realize again it's a very long sequence so this will be part two and stay tuned for part three. Before I snap those in I want to make sure that I'm close to center with the headliner. I may need to shift it just a hair. Okay, that looks like center. So I've got to pull this forward or push it forward and get it to catch on those hooks. Okay, there's one. Obviously you want to make sure you don't poke through the headliner. So that bow is in place. Get this one started. Oh, I didn't cut that one. There we go. That's exposed. Okay, things are looking pretty good. You know, um, I can stretch it a little side to side, and that'll come later on. You know, I can pull where the rods are. But what I want to do is start in the middle and work my way side to side, right? So part of that is I took old windlays and I cut it into sections like one in, two inches or whatever. Uh, and that's going to work to help hold this in place. Another thing that I want to do is I'm going to take a Sharpie and I'm going to draw a line roughly where this meets. You know, if I hold that up and stretch it a little bit, I can draw that line. And that gives me an idea of where I can put my uh, glue so that I'm not putting it all over the place. I'm just getting it where it needs to be. But it gives me just a rough, rough kind of idea with a little stretch. All right, now some things you need to do. Make sure this area is all clean. You know, it has to stick to this. And what I'm using is, uh, I actually bought this from NPD when I bought the headliner kit, this weld-on adhesive. Um, not tried it before. It points out in the can. It did stir it up real good if you can get it open. <laughs> I'm going to have to get that open. <laughs> anyway, it tells you to stir it up real good apply it you have two to five minutes of working time now you're supposed to let it dry and get you know kind of tacky of course and not not enough that it would stick to your fingers so kind of experiment i guess uh, so i'm going to apply some of this 
and see if I can't get this front edge in place. See if I can't make a mess of things. It looks like just regular contact cement, but it is pretty runny, it's pretty thin. And I'm applying it behind my line and ahead of my line. I don't know if you can see that very well. So basically I'm going to figure out where my stop point is out here. And I'm going to put some on both sides of the pinch weld. Let that tack up a minute, or two, or five. All right, it might have been a little bit long, but we'll find out. I only went two minutes, and it feels like it's pretty well cured. So I'm going to stretch this. Try to get it to stick in the center. Take some of that pinch weld material, put around it. Then what I want to do is actually come out here to the ends and try to pull this in place and tack it and then work these edges up. Um, so I'm going to apply more of the glue and go on from there. What I'm finding is at this point, when I look inside, yeah, and I pull a little tension, there's a couple wrinkles here, they go away. Real nice. So let's put this on here just to help it stay in place. It's working. Now I'll get the other side done. Okay, things are stretching good up on the front section but I need to show you something that's going on with the bows. Not a big deal, but let me show you. Okay, hopefully I can get enough light in here to where you can see this. You can see there's a little bit of distortion, maybe, but as soon as I pull on this, that goes smooth. That's a good thing. The problem I'm seeing is right here. I didn't see this till not right now, but this is bunching up around that bow so when I cut that material off I didn't cut enough because it can't go anywhere it can't come down any further so I'm just gonna have to take a knife or something and go up a bit on top let's say get in beside the bow and just cut that material because um, it has to be able to come around further I think this one might be okay in the, the second one but this one 
and it's too tight over there too. So just keep that in mind. You know, I was being conservative whenever I cut off the material. I probably should have went a little bit further. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing in the back. Start from the center, get it positioned, and then work my way side to side. Same process. Repeat, same thing, just keep moving on. Oh yeah. Now, make sure if you've got some excess here, you take a little lacquer thinner and clean that off. So I'm gonna finish the other side and getting this corner over here done as well, but I'm not gonna film that. Okay, I'm gonna keep working on this. Um, what I wanna show you is this fabric, if you look at it, this is all one piece, right? Well, you're not gonna take this and pull that. It's not gonna move. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of guesstimate where center is on this corner. And you can see I put, um, hopefully you can see I put Sharpie mark here. I want to take a pair of scissors and just cut that. Now I'm not going to go all the way into the corner, not yet. I just kind of want to test it and see what, what moves and what doesn't. Because I'm going to have to go further, I know that. But I want to just kind of do a little at a time until I get comfortable with it because all this is going to have to be trimmed off as well. And I'm doing this for a couple of reasons. One, you know, I've got to get this piece around this edge, but I don't want to do this yet. Uh, I need to manipulate the inside. So I'll show you a better angle of that in a minute, but I want to start there and get this front edge set, and then I can pull this away from that, and it'll help tighten things up. So I'm going to make a cut same way over on that side, and I've also put marks on the front where the windshield corner is. I'm going to cut that as well because as I'm pulling on it, I need to let have some relief, you know. I don't want to be pulling on it and have something try to pull away from the front. And that will help open it up a little bit. So I need to cut these other ones, and then I'll show you what I'm talking about on the inside. Okay, I hope I have enough light going. But what I wanted to show you is there's a seam that runs down that that is your anchor point let's say you want to pull on that because what that does is it stretches both sides equally if you try to pull in the middle it, it'll create weird wrinkles and stuff or if you pull over here create weird kind of wrinkles so what I want to do you know there's 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 play up here um, but I want to stretch this down and get it in place all while kind of test fitting as I go. Um, you know, it's going to take a little bit of practice, let's say, to get each piece where you want it. So what I might do is stretch this and just put some uh, pinch, you know, the, the wing lace on just to hold it in place and then work this back section and see how that looks. Now underneath this, down at the bottom here, you have hooks that are built into the panel. I don't know if you can see those or not, they're like stamped in. That is designed to, for this to be caught 
and held onto and kind of lock it in place. So I'm going to experiment a little bit. I want to get some lace material here. Now, another thing I'll point out, as I'm doing this, you know, the corner is right here. Well, you can't, you can't pull both directions at the same time. So I'm going to have to cut this as well so that I can kind of work this down, you know, independent, let's say, uh, of each, each section because I'm going different directions. So I went over stretching the material, gluing the material, drawing the lines so that you don't put too much glue all over the place, and the initial pull on the sail panels and getting those in place. So the next series or next video will continue with that, and I'll also go over some of the ideas of cutting the uh, headliner where the screws are above or already in place up above the headliner. I'll also do another video uh, or showing how it looks currently, and we'll continue from there. Thanks for watching, and until next time, take care of yourselves. See ya.